All right, another thing I feel you should know before we uh, get started on the next part. If you're gonna appear past the churro guy, so this there's a smithy up here. Go in here. Oh, the actual smithy is Zappa right here. He's important later on. But um, for now, you just need to talk to this lady. You can talk to Zappa for storyline stuff. But uh, go to the forge. And these are all the different kinds of weapons that you can make. Armor. And accessories. If you need to gear up or feel the need to gear up, do so here. And then if there's anything that you don't want or need, you can disassemble it all here. Or sell it, but I wouldn't recommend that. Alright. Now, first we're going to get Nikki. Helper, and that sets your path. Then, like that locks your path. Um, now you have to pick Nikki. And in order to get Nikki, you have to go back to Shadow Forest. There are normally guards right here, but Mickey came and distracted them. You can murder this guy, get that chest. Come up. Never mind, don't go up there. There's a chest there in the other world, I'm pretty sure. There's Nikki. Trying to sing to the wildlife for some stupid ass reason. A little chest down here. Now Mickey's in danger. Oh no. Time to save his cheeks. Make sure to read this note as one of Scully's parts. Alright, now if you come out here, you gotta go this way, but there's some big monster block in your path. You don't give a fuck about you. Now, how do you deal with this monster? As you grab those little balls, and they'll follow your party. And you take them, you know, you take them to the guys like this, little squid things with the corresponding color. Run it in front of, god damn it, I'm bad at this. If they get close enough, they'll eat it, like you just saw. 
and you have to start over. This big guy right here. There we go. Come on. There we go. And then he'll turn around and eat it. Now, at this point, you can fight that thing and kill it. Um, but if this is your first or only playthrough, or if you just haven't done this yet, I recommend not doing that. Um, instead, get the blue one, come down here. to it as well. Nom nom nom. One left. Grab the red one and run all the way back to the first area. The order you do them in does not matter. And just the same. Get his attention. That didn't get his attention. I gotta go back. I remember to cut all of that. And if you feed him all three of them, and go interact with him, he'll shrink, shovel up, and run away. And the first time you do this, you'll get the frame that I'm currently using. Run up here, and boss fight with Zoa. A lot of enemies in this cave that'll drop down and attack you. Very annoying. Fuck. Alright, now this part. A little wraith standing right there. A bowler behind him, and then those, those fucking annoying animals coming out of the hole um they'll keep going down the waterfall i believe there's a finite amount to them you can kill them all and then walk up the waterfall if you want to it's definitely not worth it kill this guy now this this part affects something in the other world in the other world there's uh oop, there's a cave right there where those guys are jumping out and there's a little kid standing in front of it talking about how his dad's in there and trapped behind this boulder that i'm about to push up there um you have to find a way to get him out to get an item but um that's only if you push this boulder in the way if you don't do this the boulder won't be there for him and it'll be a whole different scene all 
right up here. You see that thing up there? You can't get that chest yet. God damn it. I thought I was Now to avoid that enemy that just jumped down on me right here, you have to hug the right wall and then climb in here. And we're at the bottom of the well. We wait until nighttime. And then you can see the sky dragon right there. In front of the moon. Not relevant yet, but he is later. Alright, this time around we're gonna go ahead and get Guile. Um, you remember talking to Korcha, he's important for this one. Guile's chilling out over here in the bar. He's arguably one of the best mages in the game. He tells you that he has this bet he has to get into Viper Manor. I'm not sure, but you might have to have him in your party for this one. So I go to the save point over here in the inn, there's a save point in like every inn, and you can use the teleporter from them. Yeah, it doesn't really matter too much who I use, but you might want to think your decision through a little more carefully. In case I edit that part out, you uh, have to bring Gaia with you to talk to Kortra. And we pull it behind Viper Manor. Now first you want to take this little path over here. That guard's going to stop throwing down boulders. You can come back here later and he won't be there throwing down boulders. Might make it a little easier. These little water spouts will push you down. A little chest down here though, so I wouldn't advise hitting that yet because you got to come back down here anyways. Um, go ahead and grab that chest on your way back. Assuming you don't mess up like I did. Okay, and then go. Those guys are almost unavoidable. You're probably going to have to fight them. But if you time it perfectly, you you can avoid them. Now you want to get hit by that water spout. Collect that chest if you didn't already. Go ahead and let this water spout knock you down real quick. Grab this chest. Hmm. Probably just edit out all of me f***ing it up. Or fast forward through it, that's an option. Nothing up here. I believe you go all the way to the end, climb this side. Yes. Meteorite, go back down.
I'm stupid. Alright, next we show you the shortest path, but the hardest path. This is Pierre. Let's so run back up to the blacksmith, go through the front door. Ignore them all, go down here. And this guy to the right, this is Pierre. Long story short, he wants to join the four divas. Um, but he's super upset because he can't find his hero's medallion. Come talk to this kid running around. He has a hero's medallion. He doesn't want to be a thief, so he gives it back. Go back up here. Back to Pierre. He's super excited and talk to him again. Let's go. Nice part of your party. You will also have to have him in your party for the next part. Now, Pierre is a pretty useless character um, up until near the end of the game. He has uh, three items that make him, stat-wise at least, fairly exceptional as a character. I believe it's the hero's medal that you just got him, um, and then a hero's shield, which I believe you get here at Viper Mana Manor, and then a prop sword, I believe, which you get near the end of the game. Anyways, bring him with you and come talk to these guards in front of Viper Manor. This is the most straightforward approach. And the only one that I knew about from my first couple of playthroughs. Now, you're about to uh, fight salt, pepper, and ketchup. Which I think ketchup is their cousin or something like that. This entire path. 